And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the United States Air Force Academy Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as you are able for the presentation of the colors by the Northcom Joint Color Guard. Please remain standing for the national anthems of Australia, Canada, the United Kingdom, and the United States, performed by soloists from the U.S. Army and the U.S. Air Force.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, you may remove your cover for the remainder of the ceremony and concert. The stadium will continue to be a no-salute zone for the rest of the evening. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for. Please welcome the athletes of the 2018 Warrior Games, the team from the U.S. Army! Welcome the team from the United States Marine Corps! Now please welcome the team from the United States Navy and Coast Guard.
the team from U.S. SOCOM. Now, please welcome the team from the United Kingdom Armed Forces. Please welcome the team from the Australian Defence Force. Now welcome the team from Can Canada Armed Forces.
ladies and gentlemen, now welcome our host team from the United States Air Force. for the 2018 Warrior Games. No 
mountains I keep climbing Won't fall down Gotta rise up through the finish line Cause I'm so close I can almost taste it When you're fighting, you're fighting, you're fighting to go on When you're trying, you're trying, you're trying to be strong When you're dying, you're dying, you're dying to hold on Cause we only got one shot to make it You could be the greatest You could be the greatest Set the world on fire Burn a little higher whoa, 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 whoa. You can make them stand up Make the people put their hands Champion is someone who gets up, even when they can't. They don't come to get it all, they come to give it all. And legends are made in moments like this. You can be the greatest. You can be the greatest. Set the world on fire. This is what I'm assuming is some sort of prank that the Air Force is playing on me. When does the, the plane get here that we're gonna go up in? Yeah, that's the plane right no, there. No, seriously, when does the when does the plane get here? <laughs> to go really good except I'm gonna vomit <laughs> ladies and gentlemen now please welcome our special guest and master of ceremonies a tireless advocate for veterans and supporter of warriors in transition comedian actor and TV host John Stewart What's up, Colorado Springs? Thank you both. I am the jump master. Terrible, man. Welcome to the 2018 Warrior Games, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out. And thank you to the Wounded Warriors. What a time I had. They, they, they took me out on a plane today. And they, they pushed me out of it. And I really just, I just want to thank the Wings of Blue because um, this morning I had uh, two donuts and some coffee. 
And I know that's not very good for me. But I wasn't quite sure how to get it out of my stomach. Quickly. But they really helped me. I think it was the, the 720 spin. Because I thought I was like kind of a... I was like, when they pushed me out of that plane, I was like, I am a warrior! And then around the 12th dry heat, um, I remembered, oh no, man, I'm just like an old Jewish guy. That they pushed out of a plane. But it was truly a thrill. It's always, I wouldn't have done it with anybody but the best in the world. And the best in the world are here. But I will tell you this, when I got on that plane this morning, my beard was still brown. My underwear was still white. So, oh dude, dude. They, don't, they don't even want the suit back. That's the sad part. Still got, still got a little banana on it, man. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm here for the athletes. And I hope you're here for the athletes as well. What they can do is gonna blow your mind. And I hope that you don't just come out here to the opening ceremony. I hope you come out and see all the events because you'll see a show. These teams will put on a show for you. They will, do, they will go to any length for their teammates, for the victory. And I hope you're here not just to support them, but to learn from them. That's what I've found over my years hosting this, is that whenever I spend time with the athletes of the Warrior Games, I just, I hope that just a, a fraction of their tenacity, their honor, their grace, their resilience, and their teamwork will inspire me to do better in my life every day. And so I thank you guys for what you show. It is, it is always an honor to be here, even when the Aussie team brings the blow up Rue. You got the blow up Rue again this year. Last year, Team Aussie gave me a little blow up Rue and uh, it's hard to explain when you're a 55 year old man on an airplane. We, we, we're the, we're the, yes, the, my service, service my service, service room. But as always, it is, it is an absolute pleasure to be here and an honor. And I want to start things off tonight. I want to introduce to you Colonel Paul Sutter, chaplain for tonight's invocation. Sir? Well, I don't know about you all. But I feel like the repentant Grinch who stole Christmas. My heart is just two sizes too big. Thank you, athletes. I'd like to invite you all just to take a moment of silence as we honor those who have given the last full measure in service to their country. Thank you. Thank you. Now please join me in prayer. Almighty God, creator of the land, sea, sky, and beyond, we open the 2018 DOD Warrior Games with an awesome awareness of your many blessings and this grand opportunity to witness our warrior athletes in action. Our competitors represent the United States the United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada. Each athlete further represents their branch of service, the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and Special Operations Command. They display the diversity of skill necessary to protect sovereign nations and promote peace around the world. May these games serve as a small sign 
of the huge gratitude of our nations for their sacrifices and those of their families. We are in awe of their strength, grit, and determination. Help us to motivate them throughout the games by our cheers and support, even as we know that we are the ones who will be more inspired, motivated, and challenged by them. We come together as many teams united under your banner. Win or lose, let these games mark a triumph for all. We ask for fair weather and pool temperatures, level fields and courts of play, and most importantly, even keeled minds as we daily adapt to changes and challenges. May the exhibitions of sportsmanship, support, and camaraderie serve as a reminder that we are always better together. We give thanks for our spectators, our bronze, silver, and gold sponsors, community leaders, producers, performers, contractors, Rampart Range, mission partners, governmental planning teams, family programs, and the United States Air Force Academy for making this event possible. We are most grateful for spouses, children, friends, care providers, service dogs, trainers, and coaches who daily support the recovery of our wounded warriors. We acknowledge that the wounds of war are physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. But we are made in your image. We are the work of your hands. And in those hands, even now, we are blessed and made whole, as well as holy. Throughout these venues of friendly strife, as bodies, minds, emotions, and spirits are pushed again, once again, beyond their limits, may we find ultimate healing in you, whom Henry Nguyen called the wounded healer. Remind us that by your stripes, we are all healed, and that in our own woundedness, we can become a source of life for others. Through our times of trial and tribulation, enable us to persevere in our service to you and our great countries. Keep us mindful of the costly price of freedom until that great and glorious day when nations will make war no more. In your most holy name we pray, amen. Thank you so much, Colonel. Now, as always, whenever you get a collection of the world's greatest adaptive athletes together in one competition, it's going to attract what we call the DVs. And our next speaker is one of the deest of Vs that I've had the pleasure. I had the honor of joining uh, him on uh, the Around the World Vice Chair USO Tour recently, along with his incredible wife, Ms. Ricky. And um, we went on a, a C-17 which is which a crappy, crappy plane. <laughs> and I would like you to finish the inside of it. <laughs> and I really felt like, wow, this is loud and uncomfortable. And then we got to Afghanistan and they put us on a C-130. So I would like to apologize to the C-17 for anything mean that I may have said about it. Going into Kandahar was very interesting. You know what sounds a lot cooler than it is? A combat landing. Halfway through, when my buttocks was in my ear. But it truly was an honor. Uh, General Paul Selva, the Vice Chair of the Joint Chief of Staff, he truly is a man, I mean, he led this tour you are his family. You're not, you're not just people that, that he works for every day. You are his family. He cares so deeply about every service person uh, out there and their families and what they do. And, and he and his wife are just the most impressive and loving and loyal uh, couple you could ever hope uh, to be around. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice Chair of the Joint Chief of Staff, General Paul Selva. Welcome to Falcon Stadium, your Air Force Academy. 
It was a little over 38 years ago that Cadet First Class Paul Selva and Cadet First Class Ricky Selva marched into this stadium, members of the class of 1980. 90 minutes later, we left second lieutenants in your United States Air Force. This is a spectacular place, and it is my privilege to welcome the Warrior Games back to Colorado Springs. Believe it or not, it was only eight years ago when a group of volunteers put together the first Warrior Games in downtown Colorado Springs. Their vision was to demonstrate the toughness and the resiliency of the men and women of our armed forces, and I think they did a fine job. The games haven't changed much since. They've gotten a little bigger, they've gotten a little more spectacular, but the heart of these games is these 300 men and women who sit in front of me tonight, our athletes. You are all special and we all owe you a debt of gratitude. We got a chance today to spend some time in the track and field events with all of you today. And we got to meet Ross, Ben, Raphael, and Abby, four of the athletes who are out there giving their all. They have conquer challenges you and I would think are insurmountable. I'm humbled to be in their presence, but more than that, all of you are an inspiration for the rest of us. The second highlight of our day today was to spend some time with your families. We had lunch with, with several families, and I'll only borrow a couple of things from that lunch. One was the spectacular, spectacular confidence and pride that your parents, your spouses, and your children have in what you have accomplished. They just exude that pride and confidence, and they talk about your coaches and your caregivers and your friends and the people that train with you, the men and women that have made this possible, and they brag about you. But what was most touching was a young 15-year-old who said, you know, and he was talking to my wife, not to me, I was listening in. He said, you know, ma'am, these games are not about the competition. They're about the camaraderie and the friendship. They're about the sportsmanship. There is a reason they call them the warrior games and not the warrior competition. This is supposed to be fun. And then he smiled at her. And he's absolutely right. He is absolutely right. So to all of our athletes, I say thank you. Thank you for being an inspiration. Remember, this week is about sportsmanship and comradeship and mateship. It's about making friends. It's about being the heroes that you are. God bless you all. Thanks for being here. Thank you, General Silva. It's an honor to stand here as the Chief of Staff of the Air Force and welcome you back to Colorado Springs. And I want to start by thanking Mr. John Stewart for joining the Wings of Blue and jumping out of a perfectly good airplane today. And I just hope we were able to replace the breakfast he lost on the way down. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to bear witness and celebrate the power of the human spirit. There's this old saying, Age wrinkles the body, but quitting wrinkles the soul. And while all of us grow older, not all of us grow stronger as we age. The athletes and the warriors we celebrate this week show us how to grow stronger over time as they conquer the daily challenges in mind and body and spirit. They're not defined by illness or injury or the invisible wounds of war. They're defined by their courage, their determination, their grit, their resilience, and their friends and family who cheer them on here and at home. Every athlete's story is unique and deeply personal, but with common threads of strength and resilience 
And these Warrior Games allow us, all of us, both here and watching from home, to recommit that no warrior takes the road to recovery alone. To family, to friends, to caregivers. We're on your wing for life. It's a full contact team sport. And within the profession of arms, it's family business. We're here to watch and cheer on your warriors. And it takes great leadership to bring an event of this scale and reach to life. And starting this year, it's my great pleasure to introduce a new tradition as we prevent, present the official flag of the Warrior Games to the commander of the 2018 Games, Lieutenant General Gina Grosso. General Grosso, please step forward to receive the flag. Awesome guys, good spirit. Now let me say this: the challenges that can face a, a, a wounded warrior when they're back home, they've just come back downrange, are myriad. There's therapies, there's all kinds of things that they have to do. But one thing that is very difficult to remember is that the families also face many challenges. And there's one organization in particular that has risen up and done what I think is the best job in the business at meeting that challenge. For 27 years, the Fisher House has been there. To provide all that is necessary for a family that has been knocked off their moorings. I cannot say enough wonderful things about Fisher House and of course, their leader, Ken Fisher. Ken Fisher, everybody. guys to get the standing ovation. 
Let me first say thank you to John Stewart for doing this now for, I don't know, maybe four or five years. Just an amazing, amazing guy who never said no to anything veteran or military related. So, thank you, John. It's really an honor for my family to be back in uh, Colorado Springs for another Warrior Games. Yeah. Everyone here today knows that when your loved one is injured or becomes ill, the worry, the stress, the pain, they don't always end once they return home. Many return with both visible or invisible wounds, ranging from an acute medical issue to a long-lasting condition. Some, like Air Force veteran Heather Carter, who went through 14 surgeries, yep, who went through 14 surgeries and relentless pain before having her leg amputated. After, after the accident, her life changed, and the once free-spirited person became an introvert who even contemplated suicide. Now, I spotlight Heather because she'll be the first to say that adaptive sports took her beyond the hospital to participate in activities like cycling and track and swimming and other events in this year's games. But I'm not just here to cheer for Heather. I'm here to cheer with Heather's mom and dad. I'm here with all of you, all the family and friends, because after all, it's because of you that so many of these athletes are here tonight. These games are more than just a sporting event for our competing athletes. They're a celebration for families who get to share in a little bit of fun and a little bit of excitement. For some competitors, it's the first time that their family is seeing them as competitors. After a long rehabilitation, and seeing that there is a life after their injury. We've met so many of you, first at the Fisher House and then during various stages of your recovery. The Fisher House is a little bit of a home away from home that brings families together at no cost while dealing with a wound, an illness, or an injury. One of the most important parts of recovery is celebrating triumphs, so supporting adaptive sporting events like the Warrior Games brings Fisher House Foundation full circle. Having a family's love and support and knowing there's a whole community rooting for them makes all the difference in the world to these brave men and women. It's an honor and a privilege to see these athletes and their families thrive together. So thank you. Not only for your service to this nation, but also that of your families. To the Department of Defense, we thank you for allowing Fisher House the privilege of playing the role we do, not only at the beginning of the process, but also to celebrate the amazing athletes and their families as they compete. But in the end, I think there's three words that I always think of when I'm with you. Honor, educate, and inspire. You honor us with your service and your sacrifice. You educate us on how to live our lives better, and you inspire everyone here to follow your example. May God bless you, may God bless your families, and may God bless this, the greatest nation on earth. Thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to bring the flame into Falcon Stadium and officially open the 2018 Warrior Games. Please join me now in welcoming an extraordinary group of individuals who share the honor of bearing the torch on its way to the cauldron. Ladies and gentlemen, our first torchbearer, 2010 inaugural Games athlete, Senior Master Sergeant, Israel Del Toro, United States Air Force. Torchbearer, Commander of the Games, Lieutenant General Gina Grosso, USAF. Torchbearer, U.S. Army Athlete, Chaplain Assistant, Altery Skendrick. Torchbearer, U.S. Marine Corps, Gunny Sergeant Douglas Godfrey. Torchbearer, United States Coast Guard, Cybersecurity, Daniel Lee. Torchbearer, U.S. SOCOM, Staff Sergeant Lauren Montoya, U.S. Army. Torchbearer, United Kingdom Armed Forces, Bombardier, Tom Hunter, British Army. <laughs> Torchbearer, Australian Defence Force, Major Nicole Bradley, Australian Army. Torchbearer, Canadian Armed Forces, Warrant Officer Yves Lacasse, Royal Canadian Air Force.
torchbearer, United States Air Force, Master Sergeant Retired, Shannon Hampton. Welcome back, General David Goldfeed. Sergeant Hampton, are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's light the cauldron. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the wind condition, the torch did not light, but the torch is officially lit now! Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Department of Defense and the United States Air Force Academy, I proudly declare the 2018 Warrior Games begun! Let's get a louder out there, man. Let's get a louder. Come on back here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Anybody who's worth the salt having a backyard barbecue knows you can't just let that go. You gotta like them calls, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible concert coming up for you. They're gonna do a little setup up here, and in the meantime, we got about a few minutes. If uh, you don't mind, while they're setting up, I thought I'd head out for a little selfie time with the athletes. So let's do it. Come on. Let's get it, baby! Let's get it! Guys, you don't know selfies. Come on, let's do one. Let's do one with the old guys. Here we go. I'm on his lap. Oh, it's like the Star Trek Enterprise. Going where no man has gone before. This is beautiful. Here we go. Get it, baby. Get it. Get some. All right, here we go. We're going to move on. Here we go. One more. Nice. You got one? That is the most beautiful hat I've seen in a very long time. It likes you, too. Thank you, my brother. Everybody feeling good? You gonna put on a nice performance this week? Rock and roll, baby. Go get him, baby. Yeah, baby. Come on, let's get one. Nice. Come on, Marines. Oh, yeah. That's very pleasant. Oh, here we go. Sweet. I'm so glad I showered today. All right, here we go. Perfect. 
good. All right, I'm heading over here. I'm heading out over here. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, brothers? Let's get one. Come on. Nice, nice. Now we're getting them. Oh, I got to get the Aussies, man. Come on. Now, the Aussies, as you know, their selfies are backwards from American selfies. So let's get one. Let's get some nice ones here. In with the root. Let's do it. Here we go. Nice, baby. Oh, you're getting one. Oh, that's a good one. That's nice. Dude, that's my bald spot. That's actually a solar panel that powers me. Come on, let's get one over here. What are you guys doing over here? Let's get one. Oh my God, what is that little panorama? It's gonna take forever. That's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the volunteers that are here, that are helping to put these games together. They're the best, ready? Let's get one over here. Here we go, come on guys. Damn, I'm old. I forgot. When that comes back around, here, coming over here. Okay. What's it? There we go. Beautiful. I got a root for that. Ready, guys? Here we go, baby. Oh, this is a lap. Now, this is a lap. There we go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Oh! I'm gonna vomit again. Let's go on the other side. Let's see how they're doing on the other side. Come on, baby. Let's do the other side. Canada. What do you got for me, Canada? Let's do some pictures, baby. Let's do this. Here we go, baby. Come on. Right here. There we go, man. Right here. Awesome guys, go get them. These are my, these are my guys, man. This is my team. These are my boys, let's do this. Everybody in. Hi guys, you're in too. Everybody. In. Oh, that's the selfie. That's the look right there. Oh. Okay, there is something in my butt, and I'm assuming it's a dog's. I'm assuming. You know what? That, that really is a therapy dog. That helped me a lot. That is a beautiful, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, we're coming. How are you doing? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Come on, selfie real quick. All right, in the dog. Dog's in there too. Get him in, ready? Oh yeah. Oh my God, and a lick. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's like a hallmark. That's beautiful. You're the man. Good to see you. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's get Army, baby. Come on. We're in. Come on, Army. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, Army. There we go. Oh, now we got seven. Now we're coming. Army's doing it. Now we're in. Hey, oh, yeah, get in here. Come on in here. The youngest athlete in the games. The champion youngest athlete. There we go. Go ahead. Get in. All right, where's Major Truesdale? I gotta go, Major Truesdale, come over here. I gotta get one with Major Truesdale, come up here. Hey, brother, nice to see you. This young major taught me how to shoot a bow down at Fort Benning, and I was really bad at it, but she's not, she's awesome. All right, let's get it in, let's get it in. All right, now, yeah, get a selfie. What's up, man? How come, how old are you? How old are you? You're 13. Why are you taller than me? No, 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 it's cool, whatever, dude. Whatever, yeah, I'm coming over there. Let's get that over there. How are we doing over here? We looking good? All right, let me get over there, we'll get one there, and everything looks like it's loading up up there. All right, here we go, ready? Let's do it. Here we go, here we go, come on now. With the little ones. Oh, look at the babies, they're so cute. All the little babies are just like, why is grandpa yelling? Why is he yelling? You wanna do it? That's what I'm talking about. I want you to do it. Absolutely, I gotta go this way. I gotta go this way. Oh! You 
you care? Oh, we gotta go. All right, all right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the most action I've gotten in 20 years. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, right now there's a good friend of ours who wants to send a special personalized message to the games. Please welcome The Rock. All right, guys, uh, I want to just take a quick moment to welcome everyone uh, there to Falcon Stadium in Colorado. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of people. I'm hearing like 25,000 plus uh, people there. So um, anyway, I just want to welcome you guys and I want to say uh, congratulations uh, on getting to this point thus far as we kick off the Warrior Games. It's a very exciting time. Uh, I personally am inspired uh, to see everyone's hard work um, from all the branches uh, and everyone dropping that sweat to get where they're at right now. And I'm certainly honored uh, to see all the pictures that you guys have been rocking and that you will rock with the Project Rock gear. It's very, very cool. And again, I'm honored. So you know what, guys? Uh, congratulations. Go out there. Kick ass. Have a great time. Have fun. Don't puke. That's the thing. You don't want to do that because it's not a good look on Instagram. Actually, go ahead. Yeah, throw up if you have to. All right, guys. Have fun. Uh, have a blast and, uh, and keep kicking ass. And as always, our motto, blood, sweat, and respect. The first two you give, the last one you earn. Have fun.